Live from Storm Center 2, brought to you by Tundra Land, sunrooms, baths, and replacement windows. Hi everyone and welcome back. Your Storm Center 2 weather headlines are up on the screen. The first weather headline, the wintry mix chances for tomorrow. We're looking at the possibility for some ice accumulation. Right now, a glazing to maybe up to two tenths of an inch of ice for most of the area. And that's going to lead to some dangerous travel conditions. So there is a winter storm watch for parts of northeast Wisconsin. Also, a winter weather advisory for southern counties. But we are going to be moving into that warming trend. I was talking about that in the forecast yesterday. So much warmer air is on the way. And I'll show you more on that. We look at your seven days. In just a moment. First, though, as we take a look at the winter weather alerts, this light blue shading that we're seeing here on the map, that is a winter storm watch. And we're focusing on the ice accumulation. That's the reason for this winter storm watch for majority of the area. Again, anywhere from a glazing to two tenths of an inch, and it doesn't take much ice to create dangerous travel conditions. So that's what we're really focusing on for tomorrow's forecast and maybe even into early Tuesday morning. Now, as far as what we can expect as you walk out the door right now, 21 in Green Bay, 19 in Appleton, 24 in Shano, 13 degrees the current temperature in Antigo. But I don't see the temperatures dropping that much with winds mainly out of the south and southeast into the morning. We'll keep temperatures. Maybe even a few degrees above average tomorrow morning. The weather system that we're waiting on is making its way into West Texas right now, and that's the system that's going to continue to push to the north and northeast. Already seeing some wintry precipitation out ahead of this system, and that's what we're going to be watching out for tomorrow morning. It looks like most of this is going to start out as some light snow, and then we're going to get a quick changeover to the wintry mix. What mix are we looking at? Sleet and freezing rain. Those are the two weather variables that we have to focus on, and it looks like the heaviest precipitation will be Monday night. So as far as traveling tomorrow, it looks like your evening commute could be hit the hardest with some dangerous travel conditions. We're expecting slippery roads, and there could also be with ice accumulation, you get down trees, and that could lead to some down power lines. So power outages will be possible as well. So that's why we're going to be weather aware for tomorrow. I want to time things out with the precipitation chances, but I also want to show you the temperature forecast throughout the day tomorrow. This is at noon, and you can see down into our southern counties, Fond du Lac County, Sheboygan County, we're seeing temperatures right at freeze. That wintry mix making its way into that part of the region and then expanding further north and northeast. Temperatures are going to be so close to that freezing mark. Yes, I think some areas will deal with mostly a rain chance, especially the further south you go, but the ground is already very cold. So any precipitation that we get will be freezing once it makes contact with the ground. So there will be some likely ice accumulation for the entire area. But Pinpoint Predictor is keeping temperatures above that freezing mark throughout a majority of the area. That's in the winter storm watch. So that's why it's going to be a very tricky forecast into Tuesday morning. It looks like more of a rain chance into early Tuesday as temperatures continue to stay anywhere from about 33 to 36 degrees. How much ice could we see? Again, a glazing to close to two tenths of an inch with the highest forecast coming in Lakewood where it's going to be over a quarter of an inch as far as the forecast. So that's going to be ice accumulation. We could also see some snow accumulation mixing in there as well, mainly into the northern half of the area. Anywhere from maybe a half inch to one and a half inches of snowfall because temperatures should be cold enough, not just at the surface, but also just above the surface to support some snow chances. So a lot going on for tomorrow. The key ingredient will be those temperatures, especially at the surface on how much ice we get to accumulate across northeastern Wisconsin. So we'll be clear tonight with temperatures in the single digits up north and low teens for the rest of the area. I think we'll see some snow, light to moderate snow early in the morning. And then notice what happens into the afternoon. That's when the ice accumulation will start to take place. Again, we have the winter storm watch throughout a majority of the area for tomorrow. Temperatures will be warming nicely, though. If you want some much warmer air to melt the snow and melt the ice, your wish is granted as those temperatures will get into the low 40s by Friday, mid to upper 40s with just rain chances next weekend. All right.